Hey everybody, today I'm doing a new type of video that I haven't done before and this is going to be five life-changing beauty hacks that will totally switch up your normal routine or things that you might not already know. These are very simple and things that you're like, why have I not been doing that before? Of course, there are millions of these videos and articles and stuff online with so many great tips, but these are just going to be my favorite. So I'm only going to be covering five. If you wanna check out the other five, then you can head over to Nicole or Speak Now 17's channel. I will have her video linked in the description box below. She's going to be covering the next five tips. So that'll give you guys 10 tips total to completely change your life, I guess. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. So these are in no particular order. The first one that I jotted down was to use Neosporin on leftover acne marks. You guys have probably seen me do this in tons of my skincare videos because I firmly believe that it really works. This is just a regular old Neosporin or antibacterial ointment. It doesn't even have to be the name brand, but this one in particular is supposed to help with scars, I think, so that is great for acne marks. This works wonders if you have an acne spot that just healed up or it just got to where it doesn't hurt or it's not like active, if you know what I mean, and if it's got like that dry skin around it or if it's still in the healing process, this is excellent at that because when you do have an acne mark, it is broken skin or kind of like a, not a scar, but like if you cut yourself, which this is what this is for, obviously. So it works the same on your face and it's also kind of like petroleum jelly where it helps to moisturize that area and prevent it from scarring. So it doesn't exactly work on old leftover marks, like ones that have been there for a really long time. Like it's not gonna get rid of your scars or anything. It does really help in that healing process, just speed things up so it's not just like dry and gross anymore and stuff. So I swear by this stuff, really works wonders for me and I use this all the time. My next little tip is to wait for your mascara to dry before you actually go and fix a smudge. So this is something I do every single day where I will get mascara on my eyeshadow or on my eyelid. It's just inevitable, especially if you have longer lashes or if you're like me and you're like psycho about getting your lashes perfect, I'm always getting it all over my face. So it's really tempting to just go right in with a cotton swab like this and just get it off because you made a mistake. But it makes a huge difference if you just wait. The longer you wait, the easier it comes off because it's dry and you can kind of just like like rub it to where it just flakes right off. You can even take a makeup brush. So I always take like, if I have eyeshadow on, I'll just take the um, eyeshadow brush that I actually use in that area and I just go back over it. And that just makes everything look seamless again. It can even take off that smudge too with the brush if you don't have a cotton swab on hand. So that's a really good tip too. Um, but you want the cotton swab to be dry so you have that friction there that's just going to rub that right off. You don't want to push, you don't want to tug, especially if you're wearing shadow. You just want to lightly go over it and it will take it right off. It's amazing. My next tip is to add a little bit of baking soda to your toothpaste. It's something I think I talked about probably on my blog. I have a whole post on different uses for baking soda. But this is not going to totally whiten your teeth. Like if you have old stains, it's not going to whiten your teeth. I would recommend the Smile Bright Teeth Whitening Kit that I always use. It's really affordable so I'll put the info on that down below if you're interested, but this is just going to help remove surface stains. So you know those ones that you get just from drinking coffee that morning or things you've eaten all day or if you have plaque on your teeth, just sprinkle a little bit of it on top of your toothbrush and your toothpaste with your, like to where it's mixed in with your toothpaste because that really helps because it doesn't taste bad that way. And it's just like that extra boost that you need in your toothpaste and you'll notice all of the stains from that day are gone and it looks so much better. So again, it's not gonna whiten your teeth if you do have yellow teeth. It's not going to turn them white, but it does just help remove that buildup that might be around your gums and stuff. My fourth tip is to seal the tips of your nails with your clear top coat that you're using. So if you're painting your nails, I highly recommend using a base and a top coat because it makes the world of a difference when you're painting your nails. But instead of just painting your top coat just on your nails like usual, just go over that tip of your nail, so actually the part that's like touching things, because that's going to chip a lot faster. So just seal that in with just one swipe across. If you have enough polish on your brush, it's really easy and you can't even tell where you actually made a brush stroke in the wrong direction, you know? So if you have enough on your brush, you won't even be able to see it. It makes the biggest difference because it just adds that little cap over top of it. So they're not gonna chip as easily. I notice a huge difference when I do this because I'm really hard on my hands, I feel like, and they always chip really easily, but this just helps give you that extra little sealant over top. So my fifth tip is to cut your products or pump your products into little jars like this. You can get the most out of them and you don't have to waste product. So if you have like a tube of lotion, say, to where you can't get all of it out, 
out. Just take some scissors and cut it when you're down to that last bit and then you can just scoop out all the rest and just use it that way or you can transfer it to a little jar or something. I always save these little jars and stuff when I finish up products because they're excellent to use for just traveling or just putting your products in in general. So another thing I like to do is products like this that are expensive, like this is a matte concealer, I don't want to waste it or anything. It has a pump on it, which is usually a good thing, but it can be annoying for something like concealer to where you don't need as much as actually pumps out. So what I did was I just put all of the concealer, well most of it, I kind of just keep adding to this. I put it in one of these little tiny sample jars here. So then I can actually use the amount that I need. I just kind of dip my brush in there or I scoop a little bit out with a Q-tip or something. You want to make sure you're still sanitary about it. But it makes a big difference because I can then control how much I'm using. So that is all the beauty life hacks I have for now. I'll be sure to do another one of these videos very soon. Don't forget to check out Nicole's video to see the other five hacks. I love that we combine these because that gives you guys 10 great beauty hacks that you can use in your daily routine just to switch things up and make things a lot smoother for you on a daily basis. So be sure to leave me yours in the comments down below because I would love to hear little tips and things that you guys do every single day. I also have one that I did just for curly hair. I think I did like 10 or 15 tips or something. So I'll be sure to link that video down below if you want to see some curly hair hacks. I'll have a little recap and stuff of these on the blog post that goes with this video as well as little step-by-step -step images that are helpful if you want to pin them on Pinterest just to save them, then that would be great too. So don't forget to check out Nicole's video and subscribe to my channel and hers if you haven't already and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye everyone. Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a first impression review on a brand new flat iron that I got. If you guys saw my last video I did all about products that I have recently been testing out, you might have seen